In this video, let's solve the heat equation Ut is equal to C square Uxx by using Crank-Nicholson method. So, already we have used this method in the previous video. So, there are two types here in your syllabus. One is Kimmet method and the other one is Crank-Nicholson method. So, in this video, we are going to solve by using Crank-Nicholson method. Now, let's see the procedure. So, first of all, from the given condition, you are going to form the table. So, uh, how we will form the tabular column? We have to choose k such a way that k is equal to h square by c square. What is your uh, normal format? ut is equal to c square uxx. If you see here, this c square will be given in the question. For example, ut is equal to 16 uxx. So, in the place, c square is uh, 16. Therefore, c is equal to root of 16. So, same way, by using that given C in each problem, H will be given, we have to choose K. So, after the tabular column, step 3, we have to use this formula, Ui, J plus 1 is 1 by 4 into Ui minus 1, J plus 1, Ui plus 1, J plus 1, Ui minus 1, J, Ui plus 1, J. This is the formula. So, if you see here, it is 1 by 4 into average of 4 values. Where these 4 values will be here? This place, this place, this place and here. So, these 4 values, if you have to find this value, you have to take the average of these 2 values plus these 2 values. So, you can memorize this formula, but by the tabular column, you can see easily and write it. So, please keep this in mind that how to choose k? k is equal to h square by c square. Okay, so now let's see the problem. Use Crank-Nicholson method to solve. See here, this is ut is equal to c square uxx is the format. In the place of c square, what we have here, it should be right, c square. c square is 1 in this problem. Okay, subject to u of x comma 0 is equal to 0, u of 0 comma t is equal to 0. And I uh, have repeated this again. Yes, this is not required. And u of 1 comma t is equal to t for two time levels by taking h is equal to 1 by 4. So, they have given what is h. Correct? So, k we have to find. Now, see here what is step 1? The value of x is based on h. Just now we saw h is 1 by 4. So, what is the beginning value of x? What is the end value of x? This doubt will come. If you see the question u of uh, 0 comma t is equal to 0. This is the beginning value. So, the function is in terms of x and t. Okay. And what is the end value u of 1 comma t is equal to t. Okay. So, the beginning of x is 0 and the beginning of, uh, sorry, end of x is 1. So, x varies from 0 to 1. So, x starts from 0. What is h is the interval for x values? So, 0 plus 1 by 4, 1 by 4. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, 2 by 4. If I cancel, I will get 1 by 2. Then, uh, 2 by 4 plus 1 by 4, 3 by 4. 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4, 4 by 4. So, you got the beginning value as 0 and the end value as 1. Understood? So, x varies from 0 to 1. And what is the step size? h is equal to 1 by 4. So, your... Travel starts from 0, second point is 1 by 4, third point is 1 by 2, fourth point is 3 by 4, fifth point is 1, 0 to 1. So, now we have to choose k. How we will choose k? k is equal to h square by c square. Correct? In the place of c square, what we have just now is we saw, it is 1. Correct? ut is equal to 1 into uxx is there in our problem. So, c square is 1. So, what is the formula? H square by C square. That is 1 by 4 the whole square by 1 square. So, what is 1 by 4 the whole square? 4 square is 1 by uh, one by 4 uh, square is 1 by 16. So, now K uh, that is T starts from 0 and they have mentioned second level and K is the step size for T. H is the step size for X, correct? Same way, K is the step size for T. So, it starts from 0 and uh, next step is 0 plus 1 by 6, that is, sorry, 0 plus 1 by 16, 1 by 16. Next step is 1 by 16 plus 1 by 16, 
that is nothing but 2 by 16 that is equal to 1 by 8. Now let us form the tabular column. So what are the values for x uh, we took? I will take uh, the x values uh, that is 0, then 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 1. x varies from 0 to 1. This is what we saw. And uh, the uh, t values, this is for x and this is for t. t values, just now we did 0, 1 by 16, 1 by 8. Because they have given only two levels. So, we have written 0, 1 by 16, 1 by 8. That is why we stopped. We didn't write another one. So, uh, we are done with setting the tabular column by writing these t values and these tick mark x values. Now, you have to fill the tabular column with a given condition. What I have said, u of x comma 0 is equal to 0. For all x values, whenever t is 0, my answer is 0. Okay. So, uh, what else is given in the question? u of x comma 0 is equal to 0. Uh, u of uh, 0 comma, uh, here it is, uh, u of 0 comma t is equal to 0, u of 1 comma t is equal to t. These things which are there in the box is what we are going to use. Okay. Now, going to your tabular column. Yeah. So, u of x comma 0 is equal to 0 means, for all x values, whatever may be the x values, when t is 0, the function is 0. So, x is 0, 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 1. For all values, when t is 0, then all the values will become 0. So, we have written one part. And the other one is u of 0, comma t is 0. So, it means uh, when x is equal to 0, for all t values, my function is 0. So, either way, my function is becoming 0. So, don't get confused. This one will say for when x is 0, okay, x is uh, fixed. For all values of t, my function is 0. So, this is what this condition says. u of 0, comma t is equal to 0 means when x is 0 for all value of t. So, these three values became 0 because of this condition. Same way, for different values of x, when t is 0, which line t is 0? This line, t is 0. Whatever I am underlining, this is t is equal to 0. So, this becomes 0 because of this condition. Okay, This condition will change from problem to problem. For example, if I write x, comma 0 is equal to 1, these values will become 1. Wherever uh, I have 0, this will become 1. Okay, What is the third condition they have given? u of, you can check in the question, that is u of uh, uh, 1 comma t is equal to t. u of 1 comma t is equal to t. So, uh, what does it mean by that? When x value is 1, for that particular t, the corresponding answer also will be t. So, which is x is equal to 1? This row. So, what is the particular t? 0. So, I will write 0 here. So, for when x is 1, what is t here? 1 by 16. So, I will write 1 by 16. Because I am writing the same function. If t is here, I will write the answer is also t. Here, 1 by 8. So, what I will write here? 1 by 8. So, we are done with the tabular column. Okay. So, now after this tabular column, we are going to find out the values of u1, u2. So, u1 is equal to 1 by 4 into, remember the uh, diagram, uh, let me take a different color. So, it was like that. To find u1, I am going to use the values which is here on both sides of u1. Okay. So, u1 is equal to 1 by 4 into, you can see the blue line, 0, this side, plus u2, this one, plus 0, plus 0. So, this is first one. So, uh, u1 is equal to u2 by 4 we got. Similarly, u2 is equal to 1 by 4 into either side of u2 we are going to see. What is on both sides of u2? This one, I will put a star. u1, u3, 0, 0. That is what we have added. u1, u3, 0 plus 0. So, this 4 goes to the other side. So, 4 u2 is equal to u1 plus u3. You can simplify. Similarly, can you guess what is u3? u3 is 1 by 4 into, let me draw, ah, u3, u3 is here, we have to find, 
I will use some other symbol on both sides of U3. U2, 1 by 16, 0, 1 by 16, 0. And 0. That is what we have written u2 1 by 16 0 and 0. So, we will take average of this. So, from the first equation what you will take 4 will go to the other side. So, 4 u1 minus u2 is equal to 0. That is what I have written equation 1. Okay. What is equation? There is no u3. So, if you want plus 0 u3 you can write is equal to 0. Then from the second equation uh, 4 this will go to the other side, 4u2, correct? And then uh, u1, let it be on that side. If this 4u2 goes to the other side, 4u2 is equal to u1 plus u3. So, if this goes to the other side, u1 minus 4u2 plus u3 is equal to 0. This is the second equation. What is the third equation? There is a uh, third equation from here. 4u3 is equal to u2 plus 1 by 16, which implies u2 minus 4u3 is equal to this 16 will go to the other side so it will become minus 1 by 16 this is the third equation there is no u1 so i will write 0 u1 so what you have to do is uh, no need to calculate um, in the normal method just take your calculator with three unknowns you take substitute these values in three unknowns and you will get the solution here u1 u2 u3 i'll show you at the end how to calculate the unknown values from the calculator. So, this is done. Now, only row 1 is done. Where? We are done with u1, u2, u3. We are done with row 1. This entire row 2 is pending. u4, u5, u6 is pending. Same way you are going to find. To find u4, let me use another color. Yeah, same formula. Okay, we are going to find u4. So, what is there on the left hand side of u4? 0. What is there on the right hand side of u4? u5. And little above than that? 0. Little above than that? u2. So, 1 by 4 into 0 plus u5 plus 0 plus u2. Same formula we have written. 0 plus u5 plus 0 plus u2. Similarly, we are going to solve these three equations. Okay. If this goes to the other side, 4 u4 is equal to u5 plus u2. Then again I am writing an equation. Okay. Similarly for u6 what you will do? u6 this we have to find. So left hand side of u6 I will put a tick mark u5. Right hand side of u6 1 by 8. Above u6, uh, u5 we have u2. Above 1 by 8 we have 1 by 16. So u6 is equal to 1 by 4 into u5 plus 1 by 8 plus u2 plus 1 by 16. That is what we have written here u5 is equal to 1 by 4. Similarly, we have to find for u6 also. Okay. So, now we have got three equations. Again, you are just substituting this. How we simplified the first equation? So, 1 by 4. So, this 4 goes to the other side. 4 u5. Arrange in such a way that u4 first, u5 second, u6 third. Same way, second equation, u4 first, u5 second, u6 third. Third equation, there is no u4. So, I will write 0 u4. From u6 I am saying. Uh, why? Because uh, we are going to substitute these values. You may be wondering. Already we know u1 and u3. Whatever I am circling in green. Just know we got it. Just substitute that value. So this equation will become an unknown in u5, u4 and u6. Whatever I have circled we know. What is u1? Just know you have calculated 0 0.0011. And what is u2? 0.004464. What is u3.01674? Uh, By solving this in the calculator, we got u1, u2 and u3. Okay. So, now you can uh, do the same way. If you check here, uh, in this u5, uh, these two values are known. So, then now in u6, what are the values are known? u2 is known already. This we have calculated. Just substitute. So, now it will be an unknown in u6 and u5. Here I have written, there is no uh, u4, so I have written 0 u4, that's it. So, you got uh, 3 equations, u5, uh, u4, u5 and u6. By using these 3 equations, substitute in the calculator and find out u1, u5 and u6. So, now uh, check this problem, try this on your own. I will show you the answer also, you can pass it and solve it by yourself. Okay, thank you. 
let's see how to solve these three equations using calculator so what i have is fx991es uh, yes, now so always uh, you have to check the mode first in the mode uh, option 3 uh, sorry option 5 is the equation right so press 5 so it is asking you what is the first equation ax by c okay only three unknowns are there what we have is a b c right hand side is d so the second one is matching with this if you can see the option so i'm pressing 2 here okay so now i have selected 2 now i'm going to give the values as input what is the first e uh, value 4 if you check the equation 4 minus 1 0 correct right hand side 0 so i'm just going to substitute these values 4 this is the way to feed the given uh, values then put equal to symbol it will go to the next one then you have to press minus 1 okay so then it will go to the next one you can see 4 and minus 1 it has come then 0 then next one right hand side value 0 next if you put equal to now it is coming to the next line right so what is the next line uh, u1 coefficient 1 then uh, equal to then we have uh, minus 4 okay so then equal to uh, 1 right hand side again equal to 0 so now we are in the last line so sorry 0 okay then uh, what is the second equation u2 so 1 1 u2 1 and then minus 4 minus 4 so what is there on the right hand side minus 1 by 16 so i will write this as minus 0 0.0625 so i have entered this value also now if you press equal to we are done with all the values so press equal to once again to get the answer so what is the first answer uh, so now uh, we can convert it to decimal by using this sd symbol so 1.1160 into 10 power minus 3 i will tell you how to convert it so what is the second answer uh, again change s to d uh, 4.46 into 10 power minus 3 again the third answer uh, 0.01674 okay now you see this uh, 0 0.01674 you can write as it is now this is 4.4 into 10 power minus 3 so this decimal goes to three places before 4 then again one more one more so it is 0 0.0044 same way see this into 10 power minus 3 so three decimals it will go so first decimal second decimal third decimal so 0 0 1 so this i will write it as 0 0 1 1 so these are the three values this is how you have to use a calculator in case if it uh, here it doesn't support uh, four unknown values in case if uh, in laplace uh, even function you will get four unknowns so you can reduce it to three unknowns and then use this calculator thank you